That's right, that's right. It's time for a, another drama video where I have to clear some shit out. And who does the drama have to deal with? The Brothers Yo? No, no, they're fine. They're fine. The Brothers Yo is a great anime reaction channel that I've honestly spoken a lot of positive things about. If you guys actually don't know, this is one of the channels that I actually studied back about a year, about a year and a half ago to try and understand how they're having so much success with their, you know, YouTube channel while my channel at the same level was stagnating. And basically off of studying them and being inspired, I was able to get pretty good results. And even recently, on their recent Shangri-La video, you know, we were communicating back and forth, you know, letting them know that, hey, people are getting copyright strikes. You guys should be aware of it, right? And they respond to saying, thank you. And there's no problem here, no problem. But here's the fucking thing. You remember the wise man grandchild video I made about how I said, yo, I'm a raw dog this because I think that because Brothers Yo got like 20k videos, I want to experiment. And through community effort alone, if you guys can bring it up to 10k and try to get lucky with the algorithm, that's what the whole point of the experimentation is. But some people are so terminally online that they feel the need to have group therapy sessions after getting banned in my channel and go cry to different communities. For example, haha, Kaka just reacted to episode one of the series and talks about you guys. A little heart, 14 likes, nothing wrong with that. And we got some Moya emotes coming through and then, say guys, yeah, he jealous. All right, all right, first things first. I don't mind if people are gonna hate, right? If you're gonna call me annoying, if you think that my humor sucks, and if you don't like my reactions, everyone has their own opinions on what entertainment is. It's subjective. And you as the audience will simply pick whatever is more entertaining, right? I don't have any qualms in that. But I, what I do hate is when monkeys come in saying wrong shit to start drama. Yeah, he jealous. This is public data. I don't want to flex on other people, but this is public data. If you were to look at the monthly viewership of long form content of my channel versus their channel, I think that it's impossible to come to a conclusion that I could be jealous of them, right? There is an anime reactor, Kaka TV. He's just watched one episode of Wise Man's Grandchild because he saw that the Brothers Yo is getting good views, so he's copying. Absolutely. I immediately go into the intro saying, listen, they hit for 20K. I want to experiment. Let's see what's going to happen. His reaction is also L. To me, this comment doesn't matter, right? It's up to you to decide whether or not you want to, you know, watch my content. Their opinion, it's their opinion. I simply put the product out there and the audience will respond. That's hilarious, but not surprising. Dude's really annoying. Again, like, if you think that, that's, that's perfectly fine with me. He's so annoying, he's making views by using Brothers Yo name. Truly what an L man. This is the thing I don't get. Do you think that Wise Man's grandchild is like the Brothers Yo's property? Do you think that me making another reaction immediately after seeing their success is somehow going to hinder their success? In the game of YouTube, you simply are interested in it and you either click on the video or not. No one has, you know, rights to these series. So why would it matter if I make a reaction video after they did it because they did a good job? At the end of the day, this is all just competition, right? But it just doesn't make any sense how like losers like this guy, Shadow64488. And by the way, I know this guy because I blocked this monkey back in the day. And I think I might have blocked this monkey too. There's a lot of people that are coming into my channel and saying dumb shit. They're either spoiling, they're being rude to other people, they're talking shit about other content creators. And I fucking immediately ban that shit because that's fucking cancer that I don't want to spread in my fucking community. But some people will get so fucking upset, so terminally online, that they have the need to go to different people's community and start talking shit to have a therapy session. I guarantee you, I do not want your ass here. I guarantee you, the Brothers Yo doesn't want your ass here. It's just so fucking sad and pathetic, you fucking miserable losers have to do have therapy sessions like this but you know what keep talking all that shit this is just signs that my channel is growing at a rapid pace we're getting so big that monkeys are crying on different discords different people's communities and channels because they just can't have a fucking clue about why we keep bringing and you know growing you know what keep fucking doing this i'm gonna cover it i'm gonna farm the content make even more money other people will see how fucking base this is and we're gonna move forward fuck you